What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to, I think, three episodes. I think that's a good number of episodes for one video. Um, so we're going to be reacting, first of all, to episode number three called Headhunters. But before we get started, uh, I just want to make sure that you know, again, that if you want to see the full uncut versions of these reactions, then you can head to uh, my channel member page and you can become a channel member today, only $1 a month, and then you can get a link to see the full uncut reactions. If that's something you're interested in, of course, it is to support me at the end of the day. Um, but if you don't want to, then that's fine, because you have these videos too. Anyway, let's get straight in to episode number three, Headhunters. My men have examined the evidence, and this is obviously an accident. Quack, 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 quack. Wow, that's how people think I talk. <laughs> Not the duck, the... the policeman. <laughs> Hidden behind the wallpaper. It's crazy, bonkers, creepy. Ooh. Whoa. I saw the Queen. Wax Museum. William Shakespeare? Except for that one. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I am expecting for us to see more about Grunkle Stan. Um, if you didn't see uh, very recently, I think it was probably the same day this is being uploaded. Uh, I actually did another video where I went through like the the intro card. Um, basically, it has loads of secrets on it. Um, it had like matrices in the top and it had some alchemy symbols. It's a very interesting video if you want to go watch it. Um, it's it's more for entertainment purposes than education, of course, but um, it's very interesting. And I think we're going to see more about maybe Bill Cipher and uh, and what Stan has to hide. Behold the Gravity Falls Wax Museum. It was one of our most popular attractions. <laughs> I like your gumption, kid. I don't know what that word means, but thank you. <laughs> she is so adorable. It's so funny. Bigger idea. She's part fairy princess and part horse fairy princess. That's awful. <laughs> That's cursed my eyes. <laughs> oh, pop off. Go on, Mabel. Oh my gosh, that's actually quite good. <laughs> I think it needs more glitter. Agreed. Oh my. <gasps> but enough about me. Behold. Me! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's covered in my blood, sweat, tears, and other fluids. Uh, oh. <laughs> pizza? I want my pizza. That was a typo. Good night, everyone! <laughs> that was a typo. Smoke bomb. <laughs> oh. It's that guy again. The guy who got a fish in a headlock. Attention all units. Steve is going to fit an entire cantaloupe in his mouth. Repeat, an entire cantaloupe. It's a 2316. Let's move. It's a 2316. <laughs> Aw, you sneeze like a kitten. <laughs> Wax Stan oh. has lost his head and it's up to us to find it. Okay, I see they've they've got suspects. Hey, give me a hand with this coffin, will ya? I'm doing a memorial service for Wax Stan. <laughs> Something small, but classy. I love how he's treating him like a person more than actual people in his life. It's so funny. Sorry, but we don't serve minors. Dang, nabbit. <laughs> oh, I just got the joke. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> we don't serve minors. Wait! Oh my god. Manly Dan is right-handed. That means all we gotta do is find our left-handed suspect and we've got our killer. Oh man! Hmm. Right-handed, yeah. Nice, I like this, this is great. <laughs> but you were sloppy, and all the clues pointed to a shabby shoe reporter who was caught left -handed. Oh, okay. He'll be determined. You're yesterday's news. That does actually make sense, okay. Your little knees must be sore from jumping to conclusions. Finally, we can be alone. Cardboard cutout of female news reporters. Oh my god. 
<laughs> the murderers are standing right behind you. <laughs> Wax Sherlock Holmes. Wax Shakespeare. Wow. Wax Coolio. What's up, Holmes? <laughs> Uh, no, that sounds too sincere. Slow clap. There we go. <laughs> Cursed to come to life whenever the moon is waxing. Whenever the moon is waxing? That's such a good joke. That's amazing. You must die. You can just destroy them with, um, with, like, sunlight or fire, right? It's probably what they're gonna do. <laughs> Throw the candle, throw the candle. Yeah. This is epic. The animation has not failed um, to impress me yet. You got any sunscreen? Got any. What? <gasps> nice. Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. <laughs> it's a total <laughs> Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, Dipper. What do you think is better, sequins or llama hair? The llama hair. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Dipper. Well then, that is another episode done. Um, that was really good as well. Uh, I really liked the um the twist of that. It seems like we're getting more and more um, not necessarily mythical creatures, but things coming to life and like there's a lot of different um fantastical creatures that uh, are, are living in Gravity Falls, I, I, I'm starting to wonder, like, is it a thing of, like... Because it seems like Grunkle isn't seeing it when they are active, almost. Like, the wax figures just then, um, they were... Um, they, they only, like, came to life properly when Grunkle um, wasn't there. Then when he came back, like, obviously they had destroyed the wax figures um so maybe it is a thing of um I, I i wouldn't i don't want to say it's in the imaginations of dipper and uh mabel i like that's such a a blatantly wrong theory but like i feel like there's something going on there right it's it seems weird maybe like it's all centered around them or maybe it's like all a hoax or something that's quite interesting to think about um I am going to quickly do the uh, the code at the end, so let's have a look. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do something really smart because we know that all of them are going to be three letters before the letter it says. So I'm literally just going to make myself a cipher for future videos. Uh, so let's do that now. Okay, so this time we have K H apostrophe v so it's gonna be it's or something v w l o o hat lu l q w k h y h q w v we're getting a lot of like similar letters like v's and h's and w's like that that always appears uh, in these codes and that is because i think they're the vowels to be honest so we have h e oh this is so much easier uh, v is S, so he's, and then S. Oh, wow, that's a cool one. It says, he's still in the vents. I don't know if you can see this. Wait, can you see this? It says, he's still in the vents. That's very nice. I'm liking that. I like these codes. This is a lot easier to do when you just write all the letters at the top and how to decode them, um, like the correct cipher. He's still in the vents. That's a creepy one. That's a creepy one. So maybe we have to remember all of this because I remember um, last episode, we had a really obscure one. It was like um, next week, return to Butt Island. But like, what does that, what does that actually mean? Does that mean at some point we're going to be returning to Butt Island? And so that's how we know it's a week later? Or like, I don't know, but like when it says he's still in the vents, Maybe that means at some point he's going to actually come back. Was that Larry King? I think that was. Um, so yeah, that's 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 quite interesting. Now, one other thing I quickly want to do, and this is just like a continuation from what we did in the video that I talked about before, where I kind of went through the, uh, the, the intro um, really in depth, 
is there are loads of symbols in a circle and I didn't know what half of them meant. And I think now, after seeing another episode, I think I understand what some of them mean. So let's go back to that real quick. Okay, so there's not really a great place to put my face cam, but, um, but this is probably okay. So as you can see, we have um, what I believe is Bill Cipher in the middle. And I was saying in that video that he, he's kind of like a god. I, I kind of feel like he's the center of all of this. Obviously, we, we haven't met him yet. We, I have no idea who he is. That could be completely wrong. But around him, we have like, it, it's like an astrology wheel in a way. And we have what seems to be different characters. So last time, I was able to get Mabel from the star. And then uh, I, was, I was also able to get Stan, Grunkle Stan, um from the glasses. What else I've realized in this episode um, by seeing like different symbols in different places. Uh, first of all, the question mark, I think that's probably Seuss. Uh, I think he has a question mark t-shirt, but in general, like the mystery shack uh, is where all of them are located. And so there, there are quite a lot of question marks all around uh, as well as like the, um, the, the thing that should be north, east, south and west, like the wind direction um, monitor or whatever. I don't know what that's actually called, um, but that's that says what instead. So it's all like mystery shack, like question marks, what's and stuff like that. Um, don't know the ice thing yet. Uh, this symbol I didn't recognize before, but now I it's so it's clear as day and the same with the tree as well. Um, it's clear as day. This one is Grunkle Stan. He he has that on his hat. Um, I guess I was seeing a lot of it because of the, the wax figure as well. He, he has the same on his hat. And this tree, I'm, I think they're the Pine family, right? I think um, Mabel and Dipper are from the Pine family or something like that. But um, Dipper also has that exact tree on his hat. And then finally, finally, the last thing I see is this six fingered hand that is on the front cover of the book that Dipper has, uh, as well as a number three. But that's interesting that I'm, I'm starting to see all these elements connect. Hopefully soon we'll see the ice thing, maybe the heart, although I kind of still think that's um, Mabel's boyfriend in the first episode and then the llama as well and the kind of satanic pentagram with the eye in it. Um, Still a lot of things uh, unsolved from this, but we should see more of that in upcoming episodes. Speaking of which, I think we should move on to episode number four. Okay, episode four, this one is called The Hand That Rocks the Mabel. Let's get into it. Sack of mystery. When you put your money in, it mysteriously disappears. Oh, of course. That makes wow. perfect sense. What a nice man. That was totally worth the drive. That's so dumb. Gideon? What makes him Gideon. so special? He's a psychic. A so <laughs> what was that noise? There's the star with the eye in it. I need to slow that down after. I think we just found our loophole. Literally. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> All right. Is this maybe where we get introduced to Bill? Maybe Bill takes on the bodies of um, of his followers, maybe. I don't know. That could be interesting. Also, this might be nothing, but I find it interesting that Stan is one letter away from Satan. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or if it matters at all, but that is a thing. Tent of telepathy. Oh my god, they're saying the same thing. Where others are blind, I am futurely inclined. He's a pig. Is he not a pig? He has a pig snout. <laughs> read your mind if I'm able. Something tells me your name, Mabel. How do you do that? <laughs> Such stupid jokes, but I'm still laughing at them. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's sweating like a pig. He is sweating like a pig. Hmm. Check it out, Dipper. I successfully bezazzled my face. 
blink. <laughs> the llama. The llama on her jumper. Whoa, where have you been? And what's going on with those fingernails? You look like a wolverine. <laughs> You and Sis get to do boy stuff all the time. What do you mean? Hey, dude, you ready to blow up these hot dogs in the microwave one by one? Am I? <laughs> that is such a boy thing. I feel like I'm king of all I survey. I guess that makes you my queen. What? Once again, someone calling Mabel her queen. We had that from the gnomes. Ah. Mr. Gideon, the feet on the table, an excellent choice. <laughs> the feet on the table, an excellent choice. We <laughs> we. Oui, oui. Oh, parley vous français? I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm gonna have to say. I'm on the edge of my seat. This is gonna be adorable. If she says no, I'll die from sadness. I can verify that that will indeed happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Mabel. Mabel's not here. She's in Aww. Sweater Town. Are you gonna come out of Sweater Town? Mm. All right, enough is enough. I just want to give her a hug. <laughs> oh boy. You just he does have powers. Friend. Get in. Dipper pie. That's horrifying. How long have you been living in this town? A week? Danny Feldman, Mark Evans. There's not much you can really do at that point. I'm not sure though. I ever actually broke up with him. No wonder he keeps calling me. I know what I gotta <sighs> do. Thanks for talking to me, Wendy. I like Wendy, I just feel like we haven't seen much of her. And I'm gonna make sure you Lamb never... shears. Why has he got his own lamb shears? But we can still be makeover buddies, right? Wouldn't you like that? Really? No, not really! Ah! Nice. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I thought that would happen. Yeah. I rebuke thee. Rebuke? Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how's he gonna destroy us now, huh? Try to guess what number we're thinking of? <laughs> I'll never guess what number I'm thinking of. Negative eight! No one would guess a negative number. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. Oh, it's nice to see them, um, see them like that. I find it cool that the, the S isn't repaired yet as well. Me, I'm old and I'm smelly. Hey, what are you gonna do without your precious amulet? Oh, you'll see, boy. You'll see. Oh! What an ending! Okay. Okay. So, right up until the ending, I was gonna say this is a weird... a weird episode, a weird addition to the episodes, right? Um, because it it's just a weird... I don't know, it's just the plot was a little strange. Um, but then that final reveal came out. And I'm trying to think it through. I, I don't know what that really means. Um, so, okay, let me think about this. So Dipper has a book um, that looks exactly the same. And it has a three on it. And then Gideon has one that has a two on it. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe it's because it's like, it, it could be related to the bit. There's so much like triangle imagery and stuff. Like even in the first episode, I noticed like the windows were triangular and stuff. I'm thinking like triangles have three, three sides, obviously, or three angles or something. Um, so I don't know how that's related, but it seems like maybe like the question that I was going to ask here was how did Gideon get his powers? How did he get that amulet that got that has the powers in it? I'm like, where is that power coming from? And then, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, absolutely, it has to somehow come from Bill, if he is a god, like I have theorised. Um, and I think that sort of 
helps to prove it, the fact that he, he also has a book. Um, so that's very interesting. Uh, we, I, I'm really curious about the book now. Who Who is writing these books? Where are these books coming from? What are they truly about? And how are they going to fit into the law further on down the line? That was a very interesting ending, though. Let's have a look at the secret code. Okay, F D U O D, comma, Z K B, Z R Q W, B R X F D O O P H question mark. Interesting that this one is a question. Hmm. What could this be? Let's have a look. So an F is going to be a C, a D is going to be an A, a U is going to be an R. Oh, interesting. Um, the first word is Carla. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think we've heard of a Carla. I don't know. I don't know who Carla is. Um, so let's see what what this translates to fully. Huh. Um. What? Okay. Okay, I'm 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 really interested in this. I'm getting really invested in this show right now, um, because of that reveal and because of this as well. Um. So this one. So so far, all of them have kind of been related to the episodes. Like, I would say like fully related. Um. Because the first one was Welcome to Gravity Falls. The second one was Return to Butt Island. We were on Butt Island for that whole episode, basically. The third one was He's Still in the Vents, which kind of ties into the ending of the wax figures. This fourth one. Interesting. Carla, why won't you call me? So the reason that's interesting is the only, the only possible thing that could be okay. Actually, there's two boss po possibilities here. First possibility could be that's just a line from um, from Gideon. Second thing is what I initially thought when I saw that is that could be what Wendy's ex was was saying. Like, like think of it as um, in the episode we heard that Wendy had an an ex that she never broke up with. Um, and he's still calling her. Maybe this is a line from him, but then that would mean her name is actually Carla. I don't know why, I don't know how that would make sense. I don't know, I'm really, I am really confused about that one. I'm really intrigued. Um, and just to, um, just to complete this video as well, I just want to make sure that I read through the TV, as I said I would. Um, so let's, go through the TV at the beginning because I saw that there are a lot of words. I thought that saw there was like APR, which is like an, an economics term. Um, void web prohibited. No CODs accepted. The letter P in the word psychic is silent and used for entertainment purposes only. If unsatisfied, please return unused portion for a full refund. Side effects may include, but are not limited to, prosperity, wads of cash, fun at parties, tight pants, 6.2% APR, no money down. Psychic readings may cause a warming sensation in the abdomen. If pain persists, consult your physici ph physicist immediately. A physicist? Isn't a physicist someone who studies physics? Okay. Uh, wait, Carla, I've always loved you, but never had the guts to say it. Carla, why won't you call me? Oh, I'm confused now. I am so confused. So it must be, yeah, that must be, that's, that must be from Gideon. So I'm assuming this is an advert. Of course, this is an advert for Gideon and he's put that secret message there. Um, and then the end of the episode has that code to kind of refer back to that. I think we may have done this the opposite way around to how it was supposed to be done, but whatever. Okay, that's making more sense now. Okay, because I, I thought that was just going to be like a loose end that would, would never be um, uh, elaborated on. But there you go. That's really cool. I like that. I like that one.
That's really cool. Okay, I'm going to watch one more episode today, and that is going to be episode number five, which is called The Inconveniencing. Fantastic. What a title. Mabel, do you believe in ghosts? I believe you're a big dork. <laughs> okay, so this episode is going to be about ghosts. Are they ever going to repair the S? Check it out. Whoa, cool. It's like in Bojack when Mr. Peanut, a, P, Mr. Peanut Butter stole the D. Don't leave me hanging. Ha! She's pretty cool. Later, dork. <laughs> Wait! She's much cooler than I thought. Somebody's in love! <gasps> yeah, right. It's not like I lay awake at night thinking about her. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. I wonder if this intro ever changes, you know? It'd be interesting. There's there's some more runes there I could probably examine. I haven't looked at that page either. I think I heard some whispering. I do that all the time. The Lammy dance. Now is not the time to talk about the Lammy dance. Lamb costume. Is that amazing? <laughs> We're 13. So technically a teen. They're not 13, are they? They're like nine. Since when are we 13? Yeah. Is this a leap year? <laughs> is this a leap year? That's not how it works. Oh, hey, what's that? Huh? <laughs> She's not much for first impressions, unlike this guy. This guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy who spray painted the water tower. Oh, you mean the big muffin? Um, it's a giant explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Is he the actual uh, zombie kid? <laughs> Said you guys aren't allowed to punch the roof anymore. Zombies so rule. It says zombies rule. Wait, I might not actually be that far out. <laughs> oh, Maple. And Grafton St. Rumpter Frapple has the irascible Coxwain, Sauter Blug, and Hamter Fumper Chuck. Sorry, yes! what? <laughs> Just uh, gotta get a foothold. Dude, your sister did it. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I want that as a gif. Break the heart! Hercules. The heart! I see the heart. Your new name is Dr. Fun Times. Dr. Fun Times. <laughs> FNAF reference! Oh, it's those things. I love those. I really want one now. <laughs> is that the ice reference? Okay. What do you think? Wait. Okay, so there was drugs in it. There was hallucinogenics. <laughs> I'm on it. Uh. That is the ice, by the way. It's interesting. What? Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Wow. This show is surprisingly creepy. It, it does a good job. Mabel? Oh my god, Mabel. The is in the past. Onward, <laughs> Mabel? <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy does not fit in with this group. It's literally FNAF. They're they're getting sucked into the arcade machines. <laughs> I've got something to tell you. I'm not a teenager. Okay. <laughs> the lyrics they were so hateful. Homework's whack, and so are rules. Tuck it in your shirts for fools. <laughs> There it is. 
Oh no. Well, who wants a lammy, lammy, lammy? I do, I do. So go up and greet your mammy, mammy, mammy. Hi there, hi there. The ghosts appeared and Dipper had to... Uh, <clears throat> and um, Dipper just grabbed a bat and started beating ghosts what? down, left and right. And then... Uh, she is pretty cool. What kind of sick joke is this? Oh, Mabel. She never fails to make me laugh. It's so funny. I love how Grunkle was just like not important at all in that episode. But I really liked that. That was that was a fun episode to end on today. Um Let's have a look at the uh well actually okay, first of all, um there's a lot of symbols that I'm seeing, so I think we're gonna go back once more to that initial screen and then um and we, and we can see what we have left i don't know if we have much left um i wonder if it's like a summoning thing where like you find all of the the symbols in gravity falls and like once once all of them have been completed we then see bill or something i don't know um but that didn't really make much sense <laughs> okay secret code time this is uh, a lot of the time, my favourite part of this. I actually really like that there's a secret code at the end of each um, each episode. Because it's like, it's interactive. It's fun. Eh? I, I love problem solving. I love solving codes. That's part of the reason I'm reacting to this entire series. Because I, it, it's just my sort of thing, you know. So we have an O and then an N. I'm getting a lot faster at these. Um as well. Uh, so I think this one is saying on onward. No, no. Wait. On, on what? Wait. Onwards. Wait, what? Uh, this one, this one is on, onwards Aoshima. Onwards Aoshima? Oh my god, I missed out. I missed out a letter. I'm such an idiot. Onwards. Okay, so it's, it is actually spelled correctly. Onwards. Um, but then this second word. A. It's A. Wait, 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 wait. D is A. R is O. V is S. K is H. L is I. P is M. D is A. Onwards, Aoshima. I'm looking like it, it may be... Ooh, the uh, clock tower is going off. Uh, I'm looking like if maybe like there's a different... If, if you can rearrange the letters, if it's an anagram of something. But I don't know what that means. Onwards, Aoshima. Don't know. Maybe maybe I just... Maybe it's one of their names or something that I, that I completely missed. Um, okay. Here's what I'm going to do, um, first of all, uh, well, okay, this is going to be the last thing that I do in the video, I think, um, just because it's going to get too long otherwise, but um, obviously if there's other lore hunting and stuff that I want to do in the future, I can maybe do it in separate videos, um, but it's this is really fun to, to do in these videos as well. So let me have a look at the uh, intro screen again. Okay, so... It looks to me, we, we've had the shooting star, that was in episode one. This heart was in that last episode, that was what the, um, like the main dude was wearing that was, that was Wendy's friend. Uh, the glasses, it, it, that's like an ambiguous one, right? Because I feel like, yes, Grunkle has glasses, but like, is that what that really means? I don't really know. The question mark is for like the mystery stuff, as we were talking about before, mystery shack and Seuss. Uh, the ice, the ice we just saw as well. This is the symbol on top of Grunkle's hat. This is the symbol on top of Dipper's hat. This is Gideon. Um, that, that was for like Gideon's show. That was the symbol that we had, which kind of ties him to Bill more as well. I, I didn't mention that before, but I, I feel like that, that really ties him to Bill. Um, and then we have the hand, which is on the books, and the llama, which was in... This episode, I think? Or was it last episode? I think we had, we saw, no, it was last episode. Um, Mabel was wearing a llama jumper. So 
These two actually relate to Mabel. And then we have two that relate to Grunkle. Um, I guess two that relate to Dipper here. And then I don't know if there's going to be like two of each, but it seems to be representing different characters, which is very interesting. I wonder if this will go any further at all, but it looks like we've seen all of these symbols before in some way, shape or form. So very interesting, uh, nevertheless. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy these reactions, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe. That is the best way that you can support me. And um, yeah, next, next time we will react, hopefully, to episode six, seven and eight. Uh, we will get there pretty soon, I hope. Um, I have the whole weekend to record yet. So let's do that. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye.